I thought I would come on and throw some more evidence at you for the polygonal sandbag construction technique that I was trying to put out, trying to explain and show you in it during the last video. The main image was my main piece of evidence to prove my point on that video. And yes, I suppose you could go out and say this with all videos and that that I put out, you know, that you could, uh, people are just putting out the main, the best evidence that they've got out of a selection of hundreds of thousands, right? But so in this video, I'm going to show you many more that prove that point. But uh, uh, this wall here, for instance, yeah, yeah even this, because I couldn't quite explain this and nobody can really, because they say that they've shaved it off as they've you know, they put rough blocks on, rough cut blocks into this wall. Somehow made the connections hair tight, yeah? Uh, and then they have come and shaved it away after the fact. And I was saying now that is just so backward. You're talking about cavemen technology there, right? You wouldn't do that, would you? But the circles that I'm showing there... So why are they there? Because I'm not even sure myself. It's almost like some type of log has been placed across the wall and then they've covered it over with some type of mixture. Or is it volcanic ash? I'm not quite sure. But they are indeed there. The circles that I've just pointed out are indeed there. Now, this is the main image from the last video, right? That I was showing you that it had been, especially Saxia human and sites like that have been built with sandbags huge bags whether done by giants or not i don't know i'll show you some of that towards the end yeah now i can show you some kind of evidence that might suggest that it's been done by giants but you know i have to just lean on what we've got around us today right and could we do it today well yeah we could do it today you know 20 30 ton sacks 30 ton sandbags into a wall we can do it today but we have to use our best technology, our best lifting machines to be able to do something like that, right? So yeah, you could have giants doing it, but we can also do it with the best technology that we've got. This clamp or hinge that is definitely in the wall. This is Saxe Human, by the way. If you look on the right as well, you can see a crisscross pattern, which is the framing, uh, some kind of you know framing or something that they might be smothering it into, right? You can see it, but the hinge bracket or something like that because somebody might have thought that oh this is from the early 1900s yeah no it is literally the same color as the wall unless you want to su suggest that every other piece of technology that i pointed out in all my videos is also from the early 1900s right but it's not that is literally part of the wall so in saying that the nubs that we see uh, is likely like an inner skeleton to the wall that they were throwing the sandbags into or even just pouring it into the cavities of the wall and then you get natural cracking okay which will even out and smooth out over time uh, but most of it does appear to be some type of large sandbag i'll show you some of that here but the skeleton is almost like crib walling because if you look on a lot of these larger blocks that's on sites like Saxe Human, they've got dints at the bottom of them and uh, you know archaeology has got it right in a way to say that the Peruvians as they were the dints at the bottom is where they had logs and there was that was to help them shove these huge blocks in place like which is obviously impossible but uh, if you look at sandbag construction like a retaining wall you have to hold it in place anyway so i think that's where it's likely come from which also speaks to the fact that it must have been soft before hardening you know into the limestone which it is now because it's definitely not andesite or, or granite it is indeed limestone but either way you take the concept like i'm showing here with the concrete bags the trench work laid into a, a retaining wall construction skeleton right uh, and then that petrifies and calcifies and mineralizes over time in the same way like this which is mother shipton's cave it's running down the wall of the cave over the items that people have placed visitors have placed there over a hundred years or so 
and you end up with something looking like you have at Saxe Human, yeah, because it's limestone. <laughs>